carnivore versus vegan. I've been vegan for about two months currently and I practice a full-on carnivore diet for about a month and I just want to fill you guys in on the good, bad, and ugly in my experience overall. So both diet diets I, I liked. I liked them both. Um, I like the vegan one more for some certain reasons. Let me start out by telling you guys what I would eat uh, on both of these diets. So carnivore diet, literally the only thing that I was eating was red meat and pork. So uh, ground beef, filet mignon, steak cuts, and uh, bacon. That's what I was eating, strictly those two things. And water, I had black coffee as well. But that, that was my main food group. Uh, the this, this, this sustainability was not going to be for the long run. Because after that month, I had uh, about a week's left. Towards the end of the month, I had a week left supply of red meat. And I was starting to get sick of it. Just absolutely sick of it. Uh, the type of things that I eat now on vegan is anything really that I want that's not meat or animal product. Uh, animal product, including milk and eggs and stuff like that. I have a lot of rice, beans, black beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans. Um, in the mornings, every morning, I usually have some sort of smoothie that will consist of uh, fruits and veggies and a plant-based protein powder. Um, one thing I do notice about vegan, uh, con that I do have about vegan is it's a lot easier to snack on vegan. It is a lot easier to snack on vegan because if you think about it, carnivore, you really have to prep everything and cook it. With vegan, they have all sorts of uh, pre-packaged like, you know, Lara bars and Lenny and Larry cookies that you could just go in, buy, open right up and and eat. And on a fasting channel, that's not quite what you want. <laughs> that's not what you, what you quite want to get into. Um, so that's a, the basically the difference is, is what, what I would eat. Uh, now, um, the difference between feeling the way I feel is they're about pretty equal. I'm not gonna, yeah, uh, carnivore and vegan, as far as clarity and things like that, they're about equal. Um, one, a couple things that I do notice that carnivore has up on the uh, upper edge of vegan, if you're concerned about like, you know, body image and stuff like that. When I was carnivore, it seemed like, or it didn't seem like, it was like this. Like, my muscles were a little bit more pumped up, and my skin laid super thinly over my muscles and, and fat and whatever I had uh, working with. And that was kind of a cool effect because I always, on carnivore, I always looked, uh, you know, kind of more ripped. I'm not a, exactly a ripped guy, but I always looked uh, more cut. Whereas the vegan diet, I... I'm definitely not as cut. I have to do a lot of the fasting in order to, um, you know, uh, have that cut looking effect and stuff like that. A con with a carnivore diet was, is I was very, very like kind of dried out. I felt like I had to drink more water than usual, like more than a gallon a day. And it was just, it was very hard to do. It, it wasn't easy. My lips were always dry. Uh, this is where the kind of the ugly and gross comes in with carnivore. So the ugly and gross was the, the bathroom session. So the bathroom sessions were always super horrible. I don't know what it was, but it was either a struggle or an explosion. I'm not even kidding. It was one of the two. And uh, another con with the, uh, carnivore was my body I noticed body scent uh, smell, and so did my wife, which is, you know, definitely not uh, <laughs> flattering for her or for me. Um, you know, my armpits started smelling really, really bad, uh, and uh, I just kind of couldn't smell myself, uh, whether I was just chilling, watching TV, or just, you know, but every now and then I'd get a whiff of myself, even through deodorant, and I was like, ugh, I don't know. Um, uh, another con with carnivore that I had was flexibility. So yeah, although my muscles were looking a little bit pumped up and the skin was laying nice and thin over the muscles, the flexibility was definitely not there. I was stiff, I was a little bit more stiff and uh, my sleep was lacking a little bit. Um, when it came to vegan, my flexibility is really good, 
So I could vouch for that. Um, that's, that's really important for me. I'm trying to think of other cons. Uh, cons for a vegan, I'm not gonna lie guys, I do love this vegan lifestyle, but nothing gets your mouth watering like a nice filet mignon. Like nothing gets your mouth watering like like red meat, it's the weirdest thing. I've, uh, I've went into vegan meals super fasted and I've had mouth watering effects, but it was just so strange because was out, when I was on the carnivore diet, when it came time to sit down for dinner, and I had that steak knife and fork and that red meat in front of my face cooked and seared. Ooh, man, there was just something about like that that made the mouth water. Um, so that's one thing that I do miss was uh, actually super duper desiring food like I did red meat. And uh, I'm gonna miss bacon. Um, but overall, if I had to say in my personal experience, uh, I'd, I'd have to stick with vegan. I'd have to do, I'd have to stick with vegan for the sole fact that I'm not stinking. Um, the bathroom sessions aren't weird at all. I actually do have more energy when I go on the bicycle or take a walk. I just feel a little bit more like lighter and less bogged down uh, when it comes to actual physical activity. And uh, that's really been my kind of differences between carnivore and vegan. Yeah, you know, vegan is just a lot better for me and not really having a whole lot of intestinal problems. That's one thing that I was having with carnivore a little bit every once in a while. I don't know if it would be like the spices or seasonings that I would use, but it would really, really, really kick my ass as far as uh, intestinal inflammation pain kind of. And with vegan, I'm not experiencing that. So that's cool. Anyways, guys, I know this has kind of run, run on a long time, but... Uh, that's just been my experience, carnivore versus vegan. Thank you for listening.